we first proposed Project Art Start during the 2010-2011 school year, we wanted a program that would bring arts education to the students of this community and connect them with the cultural resources that are all around us. And we wanted to make sure that arts didn't go away, given that the year before, in 2009, the Claremont Museum of Art had lost its own exhibition space in the Packing House. Over time, Project Art Start grew to include project assistants or area college students who, working with Claremont High School students, mentored and coached them so that they would be ready to present their own lessons. So, what do we see here in this image? Yes. Claremont High students or art starters who had a chance to plan and present their own lessons to elementary school students. And of course, the elementary school students themselves, those fourth, fifth, and sixth graders from now five different schools that Project Art Start serves. You can add some clouds. We have a lot of materials for you guys. Can anyone list like several environments that they know Yeah, So all the frames are going to be So this circle and this square, is that what you're saying? No, I'll just start, like, the, all the frames that have the first. I see. Yeah. Yeah, interruptions, definitely. Things that can interrupt other things that relate to us. To culminate the project year, art starters meet with professional curators, learn about the process of curation and exhibition design, and then plan, curate, and install their own year-end exhibition of the student art projects they've taught. In spring of 2019, for the very first time, the Art Start year-end Started Up exhibition was installed in the main galleries of the Claremont Museum of Art and they put them in a little story but using as minimum words as possible to express how they were feeling. Um, out of oil-based clay, different parts of the community, so um, some kids did like a beach or a park or an animal. And after that we had them do rubbings of nature to connect the texture and art. They put the landscape of an environment and they used the foreground, middle ground, and the background of the box. Please don't take my word for it. Listen to the art starters in their own words as they describe what it's been like during their process with Art Start. I really love just being able to give back to my community um, in a way that I love, which is art, and um, just being able to communicate and reach out and reach new minds, new people. That's all been an amazing experience for me. Art Start is actually what led me to realize that teaching is what I want to do with my life, which is really exciting. My favorite part of Art Start was getting into the classroom and being able to meet the kids and being able to teach them new things and learning new ways to get the kids engaged and just having them be engaged and like, because they love it. They love having you there and they love learning. But once I joined Art Start is when I really felt like I was an artist because I got to explore different mediums, because Art Start is a great way to explore the type of artist you are and the type of artist you have the potential to become, because it just, it really helps a fresh artist or an experienced artist channel their capabilities and everything that they can do and just really blossom and do amazing things. One main thing that I've learned while well, being an art star for four years, public speaking, I definitely have gained the skill. I got that practice all the time, whether that was with talking in front of little kids and presenting the art in front of them, or talking to chaperones or parents that were at the field trips, uh, being in the classroom, talking to my peers, and I definitely got that practice uh, while just being or attending the meetings um, for Art Start. Ten years on, we find ourselves in challenging times once more. With all of the cultural resources and schools in our community temporarily closed, it's more important than ever that we offer our young people a respite from isolation and loneliness through live visits to virtual classroom Zoom sessions or by creating pre-recorded content, something that the members of Project Art Start 
have already been doing since last spring.